Oh my gosh. Blake, this is another level, bro. Jesus, they're huge, man. We were just hanging out with Capybara at Wild Florida, but yeah. look at the size of this one. Kookaburra, no way. That's a full grown deer. Yeah, that's Willie oh. and his best friend's a goose. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful shell, dude. I, I'm just, I'll tell you what, man, like, I keep a lot of animals yeah. and I get overwhelmed. So who's helping you with all this? Realistically, it's just me. It's a dinosaur, they essentially. Are. This I'm is awesome. Us, man. I can't believe this. So you have to have a permit for those, right? Yeah, I'm like the last person in Florida that has the permit. No shit. She's like, wow. Great job with those shells. Nice. Whoa, that's awesome, man. Very rare. Nobody really, nobody really works with them. Maybe I can. I don't know what the hell's taking me so long, man. <laughs> Everybody, you know, we live within about, about an, hour an hour and a half. Yeah. And uh, it's Blake, everybody, from Blake's Exotic on? Animal Ranch. And we're going to get a tour of his facility. I've never been here, so I figured let's... Long uh, overdue. Exactly, exactly. Let's go check I it met, out. I met him. He was a young lad. And yeah. I think you got a couple of tortoises off me Probably. years ago. Little man. guys, a long yeah, time ago. that was funny. How old are you now? 25. Oh, wow. That's insane. Became a dad recently. How, how old your little uh, one? Almost four months old now. No way, dude. Yeah, little dude. That's awesome, bro. So he's got the craziest animal of all now. Yeah, You've got exactly. a little kid. Yeah. Yep. Congratulations, 100%. dude. Thank you, thank you. What do we got? So it's a, one of my second aquascape ecosystems. There's a bunch of cichlids and mixed fish in here. Okay. Then we have a pair of capybara, a male and a female. Oh, Jesus, they're huge, man. We just did, we were just hanging out with capybara at Wild Florida, but yeah. look at the size of this one. See if you could sneak up. Yeah, it's up. an adult male, about four years old, and the female is about four years old as well. Wow, that's awesome, bro. How'd you get these guys? I got them from another breeder in North Florida. And Unreal. they were uh, mother race, so that's why they're a little skittish. Okay. And that's the best for them to be breeding. When they're real, real dog tame, they're really not the best breeders. Okay, so He stays away, he does his thing, keeps his space, and he's good. That's really cool. And they run this whole area? Yeah, you'll see. They walk on this whole area. That's really cool, man. This whole area is six foot fenced. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like that, when you have a baby in your hand, they start barking at you differently. They get yeah. a little spooky. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's they make crazy. a real that's crazy a giant bark rat sound. barking at you. Giant know. rat. That's exactly what a Johnny guinea pig. <laughs> that's nuts, man. And, and then, then this, this is, is my awesome. otter enclosure. They're actually at the vet right now. They'll be home in about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, maybe we'll get to see those. But yeah, you'll be able to see more them. importantly, I love the window, man. That's something yeah. that I I I don't this get is, jealous often. This is epic. But the window <laughs> makes me jealous because guys, can you imagine having a, one of the my fly river turtles swimming around? Oh yeah. You could view it from the top, or you can get down. And see yeah, and for you, it would be a pond, so it would be better, so you don't have to have the whole cage. Oh, man, I'd I have to have that it. for the otters. I would love that. This is amazing. And then, again, uh, the Aquascape guys are just incredible. I mean, look at all these beautiful stones, man. Yeah. And you went to Alabama to get yeah, these stones? Yeah, we picked out the big giant rocks. That's incredible. Yeah, I always use the um, native the cap rock. Well, know? I did that one limestone, and then my aviary pond's limestone, I was like, let me switch it up. Yeah, that's I so cool. I wanted to switch it up. And, and that's not cheap, dude, let me no, tell you. No, it's not cheap. And then the, the biggest cost is shipping everything down yep. here. Holy so this smoke. is my like feed room. Okay. So I have my refrigerators in there. I have my uh, my prep room in there. Kookaburra. Kookaburra. Yeah. And then uh, the otters get locked in there as well. I can show you what it looks like. What do you like. mean the otters come in every night? Yeah, they come in every single night. That's pretty cool. So man. there's like a tinty smell inside of here because that's what the otters smell like. Yep. But they sleep inside here oh, every single night. That's amazing. They go in here. They have the AC and then there's a refrigerator and freezer. What species of otter? Are they? Small called Asian otter. Oh, Smallest, okay. most common one in the pet area. Okay. Pet trade. That's awesome. Now, otters are gnarly, though, aren't they? They're, oh, they'll bite the heck out of you. Yeah, they're pretty, They're, they're like, spicy. Yeah, My male, exactly. Oliver, I've had him for three years. I've had him for three years now, and I bottle raised him. I got him uh -huh. when he was a week old, so he's real calm. Oh, that's With me, so cool. anybody else, he'll, he'll take a lot. Yeah, up. he'll tear you up. So how'd you get into animals, man? Like My dad. Know, what's up? Like, My dad got me dad. a nice tortoise, day. a parrot, a dog, <laughs> and fish, and I just did everything 10 times bigger okay. myself. That's awesome. Yeah. And you guys live out in this really cool area near Fort Lauderdale. Correct. But it's... It's like you guys. Yeah. In the locks, but this is the ranches. Exactly. We just kind Off of... The outskirts there's of the city. Jupiter and Jupiter Farms, and that's where you get to have your horses, cows, chickens, yep. all that fun stuff. What exactly. are we looking at here? These are called Munjack deer. Where are so they from? They're from Asia. Okay. There's a female right here. She was bottle raised. He was bottle raised, but you don't want the males to be too close to you because then they become spicy as well, okay. and they'll beat you up. So then it'll keep their space, and it's a lot better, and the it, girls is, are nicer. Is this full grown? Adults. They're three years old. Get out of here. That's yeah, so should bizarre. Be pregnant. No way. That's a full grown deer. Yeah, one of the smallest species of deer. They're real neat because they also call them the, uh, they bark. This was really cool, and then they actually have uh, fangs on the side of the mouth. The male, you can see them a little bit better. Oh, no way. I've heard of that, actually. And then uh, something's going viral right now 
with their eyes, their scent glands open up and close, open up close. Yeah. That's the same species. No way, that's so bizarre. I have like a million people sending them, oh, you should get these deer. I'm like, yeah, I've had them forever now. That's so funny. Yeah. See that? But he no stays, way. he stays his distance. Yep. And this is going to be an aviary as well. That's why I have the poles in the middle. So okay. I'll close it all up and put a free flying birds in here. That's really cool, man. Now, one of the things we got to talk about, I want to find out about how you get that netting. Because I know that stuff's... Pain in the butt. Yeah. yeah. How do you do that? I'm going to do the next stuff like this. I'll explain everything okay, why cool. later. I'm interested That's uh, in my knowing. pig, hey, Willie. Look, it's a Galapagos tortoise. Yeah. <laughs> That's Willie oh. and his best friend's a goose. Get out of here. Yeah. Hold He's on He's spicy, though, so don't get too close right, to him. Don't but... get too close to him, Matt. But uh... Spicy is the word of the day here at Blake. Yeah, I've always say that word. Uh, look at him. pot belly pig, about 11 years, 12 years old, and it's a pig, uh, pig goose from Australia. I got her a mate, and it didn't go well. She uh, killed him, and she's best friends with him. Yeah, I had a girlfriend <laughs> like that too. Luckily, yeah. I survived. Now I have a beautiful, nice wife. There you go. That's it. Yeah, awesome. Where'd you get this, this guy? This is Jason. He Jason donated Abel's. to me. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful shell, dude. Yeah. Jesus, that's a beautiful shell. Yeah, uh, she's like, I, I say it's a she. I would say about four and a half years old now. Yeah, beautiful job, man. Just gets to live out here. She's eating grass, walking all over. Oh, yeah, I just actually released her. I had her in a smaller oh. pen with just mulch. And I was like, you know what? It's time to let her it's out. It's time to grow. I yeah. was just scared of the aquascape, the ecosystem. Oh, there, that yeah, she yeah, might yeah. fall in it. But she's been good with it. That's pretty cool. You notice how flat she is? Yeah, what, what do you mean flat in what Why do you say that? Because we got, we got Sam here. Proportionately, if you look at her, look how flat she is, right? Yeah. Now, you know Bernie. Yeah. Bernie looked just like that got when it. he was young. So you'd be amazed. How much will dome up? He don't, they I really hope. I hope oh, it's a wow. male. I'd rather have one pet male and be happy. They, they yeah. Really, they really dome up. That's cool. Beautiful, though. So these are just some cherry heads inside of here. Gotcha. I have uh, four mountain tortoises that live inside here. Blacks or browns? Blacks. Cool. I have one speck and one American alligator that live inside here. Oh, cool. Somewhere in here. There's a, you can see the speck's tail in the far left corner. You know how they are. They can be yep. real spicy. Yeah, yeah. And a little American alligator. This is actually the concrete pond liner from aquascape i built that. oh that's good stuff yeah, yeah yeah that's cool man bantams chickens i got all different types of chickens and stuff herman i yeah um herman's tortoise kookaburra kookaburra yeah i i'm just i'll tell you what man like i keep a lot of animals yeah and i get overwhelmed so who's helping you with all this realistically it's just me dude you don't leave no i leave that's... i do leave yeah, you, you I leave can... probably once a month and no? go somewhere. Like, I'm going to oh. Colombia this year. Oh, cool. To go man. to the jungle. Oh, that's I go to different fun. spots. This whole area is my baby tortoise area. Every oh. time he goes to the jungle, he, he goes somewhere, he buys the tortoises in the market. Yeah, and, and I go let them back up. He releases them. That's <laughs> yeah. awesome, man. Big group of redfoot tortoises, yellowfoot tortoises, elongated tortoises. And then we'll go in through here. I'll show you all the different types yeah, of I want to see smaller the tortoises and more like the rare stuff inside there. This was my original uh, chicken coop. Okay. Then I. Had almost only just turtles and tortoises. Then I had, um, now I still have uh, rhino clammies, insta, and then I have spotted like wood turtles in there. They have two different types of wood turtles. Right. And then these guys are, you know what type of species these are? Uh, you actually been to their country. Yeah, that's a cassowary. They are. How the hell do you have cassowaries? I'm looking at them, I'm like, that's not an emu, dude. That's a cassowary. <laughs> yeah, I have a and pair those, of cassowaries. That's a spicy animal. When they become adults, yeah. That's so, the reason why I need so much fruit, because these guys eat two buckets of fruit every single day. You have cassowaries. It's yeah. basically like having a velociraptor in yeah. your backyard. They're unrelated pair. Yeah, they'll, if, I mean, that's, you do not want to get kicked by a cassowary. Yeah, they're going to be a no contact animal about two years, two, yeah. three years. Wow. They're good right now. I've had them since they were smaller than this top of middle. We um, were at St. Augustine Animal Farm, uh, Alligator Farm, and they have a beautiful yeah. cassowary there, and it's, it's They made the pond there. No I know Ed yeah. and did it, yeah. Yeah, that's nuts. Wow, Blake, you Dirty. really are. You love all kinds yeah, of exotics, I have all man. the parrots, and then I have cows, I have goats, I have donkeys. I have the other species of ratatai called the rhea. Oh, that's a rhea. It's a rhea, and then I have and emus. And you have the, the, on the other side. Yeah. So that's... Uh, is Three species just... of the ratatais. Ratatai. Then and there's the ostrich, the ostrich and ostrich? then the kiwi. No way. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. So oh, look at this, this guys. We're aviary. walking into an aviary, and this is awesome. Double yeah. door entry. Look at these. What is, this is insane. Yeah, this is one of my favorite enclosures. So you get greeted every single time you come in here with by these guys. Who are these? These are called gray ring trumpeters, Poncho and Pinky. Where are they from? In, from Peru. These are Peruvian, yeah. no way. They're omnivores, they live on the bottom of the jungle and every night they sleep up high. They're, they're really? Yeah. They eat a lot of fruits as well and anything small they get overpowered. And right next to them are called Rurus. They're from Asia, but they're all best friends. No way. The male's the one with the mohawk. The female's the one with, in all green. Dudes are always looking way crazy. better. The males yeah. have always Everything's have a full grown thing. here. Yeah. 
And it's really cool about these little guys is the male will make a nest, trap her inside of it, and she'll stay there until she incubates them, and then he'll let her out. <laughs> it's Get crazy. Out yeah. That is crazy. So hopefully, these are beautiful, man. Yeah, everybody loves them. Look everybody loves those birds. They're really, really curious. Do they fly? Yep, they sleep all the way on the top of the aviary every single night. Look at this, man. It's like you can have monkeys in here. You can have all kinds. This is like... Yeah. I, I always joke, guys, I always joke about putting a dome over Camp Kennan, man. Oh, like, yeah. I would love to enclose my whole backyard. Look at this aquascape ecosystem. So Dude. this is the wetland, obviously. Oh, you this know about the, that. Yep, that's really cool. So this is the wetland up here. Oh and then down here God. is the main pond. Oh my gosh, Blake, this is another level, bro. Yeah, this thing's awesome. Everybody this, loves this. This is like the spot. So everything's coexisting in here. So I have all different types of waterfowl. So that's the ducks. Then I have the floor dwelling birds. I have canopy birds. And then on top of that, I have uh, different types of turtles in here. So I have black wood turtles in here. I have Hillary side neck turtles in here. Cool. And I have a few O'Banner Radio sliders. Yeah, that is really awesome, man. I just released these guys in right now. I don't know how to say the name though exactly, but I saw them in Peru and I had them in quarantine for a few uh, while at my buddy's place and I just got them. They're, the, they're like yellow. Oh, they're up in the papaya. Yeah, right there and there's another one there in the corners. Beautiful. It's a trio of them and they actually make a big, big weaving nest over the top of the water. I've wow. seen them improve multiple times. I was like, I need to get those birds. These are awesome, man. How, I mean. Tons of fish. This is a lot of work, people. Yeah, this is my most busy enclosure because I always have, there you go, Sam, you got a chair. <laughs> hey, look at perfect. Sam, look at Sam just sitting down, relaxing. That's a perfect now. spot for you. We'll let Sam hang out with the birds. But this is beautiful. They did an amazing job on this, So this man. actually has no liner in it, it's only fabric. Really? Because oh, there's, that's a, right. there's a swamp right next door to me and every single time we were digging, we were just getting too much mud. So we decided just to make it liner. And, it, and the mean, water fabric. table, will this water table raise and fall during yeah, the dry season? Yeah, it's actually really high right now because okay. I filled it up and it rained like two days ago a lot. Awesome. But and it'll drop down really low. And you've got cichlids in here. I see some Africans of mixed stuff just in here. mixed up. A bunch of mixed stuff in here. Wild, man. Yeah, this is, and that's the intake. Correct. Okay, so then it runs back up. Yep, this is huge. It's huge. It's like a river system, so, man. So yeah, originally this was supposed to be for the capybaras. Okay. But then I decided that the capybaras would destroy this whole place and make it look disgusting. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? It's going to be a lot better to be an aviary. And Dude. it turned out to be better. No, this this is, I mean, I can't even. And then see, these guys just follow us everywhere. This is amazing. <laughs> like, I, I've just never had this experience with yeah. birds like this. They're I don't dope. know much about birds. And the fact that these animals. They just do their thing. Yeah. And they're smarter. It's just weird. It's a dinosaur, they essentially. Are. It's like a reptile, yeah. too. They're just real smart and so yeah. curious. Yeah, I love them, man. Yeah, I get more and more intrigued by them. You know, the more I a lot of work because you know they need fresh fruit every single day, 24 set, like 365 days a year, don't matter. When it's cold, you have to feed them even earlier. Oh, wow. so there's a lot of you know. Other Do you have to pull it. some of these animals out, or they can handle the every, cold? I didn't touch anything here in the cold. Wow, everything was fine. Well, what was the coldest you experienced here? It was probably right in its 39, 40s, yeah. and almost half my cichlids went. That's see, that's so the now problem I actually put, I, I have heaters right here that I just plug into the spot that helps. What out. type of heaters are these? I don't know. I found them off Amazon, some de-ice heater oh, things. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, gotcha. I don't think I, I really like them that much. No, it's you know what I was wondering, because this is why it's good for us to get together. Because yeah, exactly. I, I am a little colder than you, but, you know, I have these, uh, my friends at Angel's Hatchery yeah. have these stock tub heaters as well. And I think if you take, a, get one of the Aquascape power heads. Okay. You know those, they okay, push yeah. water? Yeah. Just have the, if you could put the heaters in like a tube. Okay and then run water through that tube, those yeah. heaters, it'll cycle the water better. Because what I'm finding happening is the heat just stays around the heater spot. and it's not going, going all over. So that's, that's a problem. Or even throw them in the vaults. Yeah, you know and what make I mean? it push it up. Maybe, who knows? Yeah. Uh, I don't they know get, how much it would try. do. Um, is this a mangrove? No, pond apple. This is a pond apple. Yeah, pond Look apple, pond apple, pond apple. There's that's a bunch great, of them here. native, man. Most that's of the so trees cool. in here are, are uh, fruit trees too. We got so like then a Japanese the blueberry tree. Fig tree, papaya tree, guava tree, uh, native uh, Florida trees. I like that pond apple. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Yeah, I was going to get you one. I was actually just trying to get one from next door because so they funny, let me do whatever man. I want over How there. How cool is this place? That's what actually tree I need to put in right there. Right now, you're seeing me kind of see it for the first time ever, and so I have a lot of questions. For example, yeah, cool. all right, so how difficult was it to hang this net, it took bro? took me almost two, three days. I'll be quiet <laughs> over there. Hold on, so, seriously. So my dumb mistake I put up every single one of the outside poles first, okay. right? Before we did this pond, because I knew that's what I had to do. I brought up the dirt a little bit higher so that it, because this my area of my yard floods a little bit. Okay. So I had to bring up the dirt a little bit so that the pond was higher up so none of my fish could leave and, you know, go into the ecosystem. Everything gotcha. stays here, locked in. Pond is done, no plants are in it, just dirt area and just the pond. Then I was like, I brought one of my buddies up. He's like, all right, let's, let's start putting the net up. 
I forgot my main post. <laughs> so I had to bring the main post, dig it out by hand right there in that what? spot. All it, because I had all these augered in. Oh and I God. had it all augered in and filled them with a, tr a concrete truck with concrete and everything. And that one oh. I had to do by hand. Look at the duck coming out of the nest right now. That's beautiful. Look at this. And now, but how you needed a machine to lift that. Yeah, so we had a big bobcat, threw it up, put it in place, filled the whole thing with concrete, let it sit, and that's it. There you go. Now, do you have the stony ground here? When you're digging? This section, it... no. Front section, yes. Okay. So um, where like the first pond is, they couldn't go no deeper than like four, three yeah, feet. Yeah, down further south in Florida, you hit uh, the hard pan. Cap rock. And, and the cap rock, it's so hard to dig, man. This is a massive feat. I got to give massive props to uh, Blake for doing this because that is no joke, man. This is a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's yeah, rare that it's I'm cool. in awe. Like, I know the amount of work that this took. Uh, and just to it's upkeep it. It's two, a uh, year and a half now of the trees. The trees are really looking good. Like, so like that tree over there in the far right, yeah. it's touching the net. I don't like any of the trees touching the net okay. because then predators. This is a soft built bird net, as in no parrots that go inside of here. They'll oh, bite they through it. they bite through it. Yeah, so everything there is a soft, soft built. Okay. So they won't bite through it. So like squirrels and rats can. So I have to make sure I have traps around and catch them all day long. Oh and my God. You know, with animals, you have rats. Yes. With birds, you have it three times more. Yep. <laughs> They love that seed. This is crazy, man. Did you ever think about putting tortoises in here too, or? I did, but I haven't because I'm nervous that they might fall in. And I might just let my yellow foots go in here because I perp I still haven't produced them yet. I've had them for like nine years. Yeah. So they're just there. Yeah. So maybe I'll just let them go in here and see what I happens. I gotta be honest. Um, I I've had my red foots there near my ponds. I've had yellow foots near the ponds. I've never had issues. It looks like these animals can like wade in and then come back out. Well, where these where the, the yellowfoots are from in Peru, the Amazons exactly. and everything it floods. floods. Yeah. So they have to figure it out somehow. Wow, this is mental, dude. Holy smoke. That's and like that's like my hobby now. What's that? Pigeons? <laughs> racing pigeons. I bought a bunch of racing pigeons. Now he's into racing <laughs> pigeons. I think you're more ADD than I am. Oh, dude. I'm I'm crazy. Yeah. I got he's so all much over stuff going place. on. That if you guys awesome. want, we we'll go to the front real quick. My sure. mom just came with the otters. Go let oh, go of the let's otters. Let's go see the otters, man. Look at that. The, the males, you. the males are looking at the females. Because they're all the nest boxes are filled right now. These birds are beautiful. Yeah. Look at this bird. What's this bird with yeah, the Yeah, we white... didn't see that one yet. That's called the white crested taraco. That's Can from Africa. Can you guys Africa. see that? Holy smoke. So all these... Oh, there's one. Is that oh, yeah. the same? Yeah, yeah, Look same Look at that, type. guys. The male and the female. Look at that. That's no... Look at how mental that is, bro. Yeah, those are ring teals. Matt, is this insane? From Bolivia. This is awesome. Wood ducks down there. I can't believe this. I love this pond. Yeah, the pond's awesome. I love this pond. All the logs are uh, real logs. Yeah. I brought in my buddy. He's a big tree company guy. So awesome. he brought in the oak trees for me. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, those are good And a lot of these have. trees now are coming like this. Yep. This they came just on show its own. Up? Yeah. yeah. And then this weird looking tree thing there, a little fern looking. Thing I have there. those too. I don't know what they are. Yeah, they're, I don't know. They're, they're beautiful. Up. Yeah, they, very weird. They showed up in Slinky's enclosure. Because okay. you were at my house when we were building yeah, Slinky's, Slinky's house. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the older these ecosystems get, the better they look. Yeah, yeah I've been noticing. I, I love all this. I love when the rocks, you know, the Fill ferns that crow out of it. It's cool. So that's man. like a lockout cage right there. Okay. So whenever I get new species of birds, I keep them in there for about a week or two. They learn to eat and go inside of there and always know that's a safety zone. Okay. So those yellow birds, I just actually released them from there. They left, no problem. They go in the whole aviary. But they every day they go back inside of there, eat their fruits and everything of that sort, and they can leave whenever they want. Wow. So that cage, like if there's a hurricane or anything, everybody knows to go in there three, four days before, lock them up, catch them all, because trying to catch them in here, you're not going to catch not, them. It's not going to happen. So the, everyone's trained <laughs> to go in there, eat inside question, in there. Yeah. That's actually, you answered a question I yeah. had in my head, like so how do you prepare for a hurricane with these birds? But well, mulberry trees, strawberry trees, all different types of stuff inside here. Dude, this place is awesome, man. I got to remulch the whole thing. I'm actually going to remulch it next week soon. Wow. Dude. Like I, I get, sometimes I get a little verklempt. It's an old Yiddish word. <laughs> Let's and go. I'm gonna go grab these otters. Real quick. Let's go to the otter. Let's enclosure. do it. But but I I just know go. how much work is on this dude's plate. So oh, this, it's, this is it's nothing. Yet. Wait until you go inside here. How many turtles and tortoises I have oh in here? Oh my god. Let's see the otters though. Yeah. Let's grab the otters. This is a super sized video, man. Now you guys, I'm sure some of you follow Blake, and if you don't, you guys can check out his YouTube channel, the, Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. The galapagos still live right here, but I was oh. like, you know what? Let's get him out of here. Cool. I opened it up, and now he has the yeah. whole thing. Has great life. Awesome, man. I'm happy to carry anything yeah, you need you want, to carry. Yeah, maybe help me grab a crate if you want. All right, check it out. We got Oliver right here. That's your yeah, boy. That's Oliver, and this is Callie. Yep. Oh, yeah. my gosh, guys. They're pretty I've cool. never... Look at these cute guys. So they got a clean bill of health. They got their yep. shots. Everything. The yearly check. That's the one thing that I don't do on my own with these guys because they're a little too exotic for me. Okay. And I like to make sure they're getting properly the right way, like treated and Copy everything. Copy that. 
but the goats, the birds, the capybara, all that stuff really. You myself. can be more hands on. Yeah. Gotcha. If not, you'll go broke. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> you all right, that, Sam. Dude. All right. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, I'll take them in. You got and it. I'll put them in, let them go in there. I used to let people go in. Greg was actually the last like adult that went in there, and I was like, all right, that's it, Greg. You built the pond. Yeah. No more. I get it, man. You do what you got to do. Yeah, I got you. I'm, I'm all about first. following the rules. Because you know what, guys, these days everyone's looking at exotic animal owners, and you know, if and an accident happened or something like that. Yeah, we'll go back. You guys yeah. go back outside and film from there. We got it. I have it like triple doored. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's awesome. It's cool to see just how serious Blake takes care of these animals. These are only class animals. three animals. Yeah. And I'm treating wow. them like class two animals. That's awesome. It just makes your life uh, better, man. Much respect. Look at this. Oh my Come on, God. Callie. Come on, Oliver. Look at this. There they go. Go, Oliver. They go, are get cute, out of here. man. Oh He's my like, I'm God. I'm out of here. Now that you're going to have some real good footage of them filming, uh, swimming. That is awesome. So they meet up with their buddy. They're real buddies, huh? Oh, yeah. They're male and female. They're unrelated, but they're like, yeah, they love each other. They're best friends. What the hell? That is awesome. Now, mink and otter and weasels, they're, they're all, all in the that. same family, yeah. right? I forget the name of it. Mustelid? Muscat, m yeah, Mustelids or something, yeah. That is awesome. Look at these guys. Yeah. yeah see. How you going? Yeah, long time. I know. How are you? How, I'm doing well. Thank you. Guys you guys want to? There's just trout, tilapia, and chicks. Oh, exactly. Yeah, cool. Check this out. Check the food, man. So. Trout, tilapia, and chicks, and they get a little bit of vegetables here and there, too. That's yeah, awesome. Like you got a spray, don't take <laughs> <laughs> Good old Sam. Look at these guys, man. They are cute. Yeah, they're pretty smart, man. Yeah, they're late on food today. That's rad. Come on. The cool thing about them is they only pee and poop on that concrete pad, so you just gotta clean over there. Really? So they don't really poo and poop all the whole thing and make it disgusting. Because they have that wildy game smell. So if it was the whole thing, it'd be a pain in the butt. Wow, that's really cool, man. Pretty amazing. I mean, this is a serious setup for some otters. The aviary is mental, but I wanna take a peek in that baby tortoise. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll do girl. that right now. Let's go check it out, man. I know you guys love tortoises if you're watching this channel. You gotta see this guy. He's been collecting tortoises since he was. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, I forever, dude. Yeah, probably 15 years plus now. Wow. There my main, go. like, first five years so, old, man. Yeah, my first so is all the way up there. And really? I, when still I got have it. it. Yeah. That's cool. We'll go inside of here. Okay. So, uh, I guess if any of you guys want to start filming once we go on the outside of the second part, copy that. In here, I'll show you I have a bunch of fish, okay. which I'm allowed to have, no problem. Okay. But I'm building a project that not everybody's seen that's done yet. Oh, so all right. So, we're not allowed to see that. So, look, these are the babies, real quick. Oh. We can take them out. We'll get better for Yeah, them. we'll get them out. Wow, that's gnarly, dude. So, I'm building this. Oh, wow. That's going to be a full a aquarium. Fish tank. Yeah. Holy <clears throat> dude. How's have, uh, um, this big girl right here? What? Arapaima? Yeah. So you have to have a permit for those, right? Yeah, I'm like the last person in Florida that has the permit. No shit. She's like five years old now. What? Yeah. That thing's skull is just hard as a rock. Yeah, you can keep filming her. I built this building just for her. This building was built just for her. That's awesome. Yeah, because she's going to get so big. What the hell? What? <laughs> it's an oh, Arapaima. Arapaima. It's, it's one of the South world's America. largest freshwater fish. Holy sh... <clears throat> Arawanas, Arapaima. Yeah. Don't you remember river monsters? The dude yeah. was always fishing for those things. I'm going to Peru again and in you, June to go catch some more. That's awesome. Wow. Catfish and... Different types of barbs and cool. iridescent sharks and stuff. Awesome. But they'll all go inside this tank. What the hell? See how big it's getting, Sam? Check this guy out. This is nuts, man. The Arapaima? Oh, yeah. It's getting big. That's cool. Yeah, he's cool. All right, come on, Matt. Let's go see some tortoises. So, baby area. Holy smokes. I have Central American wood turtles in the far right. Yeah. Here. One uh, leopard tortoise. All... Let's go get up close and personal. Yeah. Watch your step. See what we got in here. We got radiata. Yeah, a bunch of beautiful radiata. man. You got a lot of nice looking radiated tortoises. Yeah, these awesome. guys have been since hatchlings. Wow, great job with those <laughs> shells, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, that a leopard over yeah, there? Yeah, a little leopard that somebody gave me. Awesome. It's a pretty leopard. Yeah, he's nice. Let's they go. don't do too well with them here, but I'm just They're keeping tough. them. Yeah. I, I no longer keep them myself. Underneath this area is actually pretty well. 
they do pretty well here. Yeah, out of the rain. Yeah, exactly. That's cool, man. Look at that. Nice looking leopard tortoise. And what do you got over These here? These are uh, Central American oh. wood turtles. Yeah, they're cool. I produce a ton of those. That's really rad. Wow. The wood turtles are actually one of my favorite <laughs> turtles and tortoises. I have a ton of them. You know, they say that the American wood turtle is the smartest. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, they, they run mazes of wood turtle, the American. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, the, these are uh, Sri Lankan stars. Oh, the Sri Lankans. Yeah, Sri Lankans. Very cool, man. And again, that's cool you keep them under here. Yeah. You know, I, I can't keep Indian stars alive. They won't do good I don't there. try. Yeah, it's tough. But the Sri Lankans <laughs> might be a little better, and I know the berms. Some elongated I produce, some oh, cherry heads cool. produced. Yeah. Little guys. Little elongata. Yeah. This that's is cool. actually, Sam gifted me this little dude oh, at the at baby that. shower. So he had a little, yeah, a tick right there to get off. He's growing. It's growing. That's nice, man. Yeah, it's doing good. That's a beautiful little tortoise. Anything you get from Sam's gonna do good, dude. Oh yeah. Look how wide he is. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's a so wide guy. Wide. More wow. Lincoln stars. Some I'm keeping, some I'm selling. Wild. Look at this guy. It's like a bunch of jewels in there. There red are foots, a lot of babies. Red in foots. Here. Eastern Hermans. More red foots. Uh, oh, two groups of. Uh, North American spotted turtles that are breeding. Oh, that's nice. Can I pull one yeah, out? Yeah, go ahead. Is that all right? Um, check these out. Guys, look at these beautiful. Where are you? Look at these beautiful spotted turtles. These guys are great. When I lived in Pennsylvania, you could see these in the wild. You could see these guys in the wild. And they have these patterns like this because they look like the bottom of a muddy leaf-filled swamp. So that's a really good camouflage. But they don't get much larger than this. If this is a male, and it is. Yeah, the males do not get much larger than that. Females are going to get a little bigger. But they are a, young, a very small, uh, small sized turtle, and they're awesome. Yeah. And they can take really cold temps. Yeah, these actually, and, they can't stay out the whole time yeah. during the cold. No problem. That's cool. Another group there. Wild. And then uh, more different types of wood turtles. I could tell you the whole list of them. I'm horrible at saying my names. But That's all right. this is a brown wood turtle. Then this is a froed wood turtle. Then I have a... Uh, Spotted like wood turtles, and then all the different aquatics. Wild. But more wood turtles, mostly wood turtles. I produced a crap ton of these uh, spotted like woods. Okay. And nobody likes to buy them, so I just hold them all back, and maybe one day they'll take off. Yeah, cool. Tons of babies. Lots of babies, man. Turtles Central everywhere, American dude. wood turtles. Albino turtles. <laughs> yeah. Nutty. These are pretty neat. I'm sure you probably haven't seen one of these. I know you tour a lot of people, so I'll show you this one. All right. So all your turtle people on there, anybody has a male. Any one of these guys. All right, you, what are you looking for here? Now, this is another species of wood turtle. It's a Colombian blue-eyed wood turtle. Wow. Whoa, that's awesome, man. Very rare. Nobody really, nobody really works with them. There's maybe a handful of them. He has a little carpet on his back. That's fine. Yeah, that's that's a pretty turtle, dude. Yeah. Striking eyes. Female. Man. Here, flick it. If you if we pull it this way, yeah. you'll really be able to see how blue the eyes are. That is so cool, man. Yeah, real neat. Did you get this in Columbia or? No, I got it as a baby here. Uh, wow. Arizona tortoise compound. Oh yeah, man. Andrew. Yeah, that's he awesome. He produced them. I actually got the wow. first two from him. Unfortunately, they got here and they were dead, unfortunately, in the shipping. Oh. And then I got another two, one passed, and this one's doing perfect. Yeah. But I had them as little hatchlings. Yeah, that's amazing. About four years old now. That's so cool, dude. That's yeah. an awesome turtle. Holy crap. Yeah, Blake, man, this is nuts. I can't believe how And then everything's on have. a water system, so like, you know, I could just turn it on and it all just flush through, so I let it run for like 20 minutes. Right. It all goes through. Ha. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Automation, you, baby. Yeah. Very and then cool. I have all here drains up top, and I pull the plugs, they all go down. That's it? Yeah. Easy. That's wild, man. But yeah, that's yeah. pretty much my... Uh, that's your camp. Yeah. <laughs> that's your ranch, right? That's my ranch. That's his ranch. Yeah, exactly. Can you show him the buffalo? The what? buffalo? Not yet, but yeah. I'll go show the cow. you like her. <laughs> All right, let's go see a cow. These rias are... Where are rias from? South America. Oh, wow. We'll it's like the biggest you. bird on this side of the world. Okay. Yeah. That's and they have the biggest wingspan of, like, the bird. One of the biggest wingspans. They look... Ostriches are bigger. Ostrich-like. They do, but that's, like, just about full size. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Do you need a class two for those? No. Just three? Agriculture, farm oh, permits. Okay. Hi. Hi, buddy. This is so nuts, guys. Got this you, stay there. there you go. Wow. And there, of course, is an emu, a little donkey. Yeah, a pair hey, of emus buddy. in here. That's Benny. That's Hi, Benny. Female. <laughs> Every, and if you, everything is paired up. Everything has a pair of something. Okay. The cool. cranes, the, the cows, everyone's paired up. Wait, the cows got a bull somewhere? Well, no, that one, no. She's, okay. a, she's a pet. She's a pet. Yeah, but I have zebus, the miniature cows over there. And I have a herd two hours from here. 
15 of them over there. I'm starting a whole new thing over there. Yeah, is that what you were telling me a few years ago? Yeah. Awesome. I'm starting to fence it off and get it going. Very cool. Hi. As Moors, she's a limousine, like meat, beef Look cow. Look at her tongue. No way. Yeah, so. Look at her. She would have been someone's burger a while back, but. No burgers for you, yeah, buddy. Yeah, she's just a friend. That's so cool, man. Everybody loves her. Big old dog. Oh, my God, guys. Can you believe this place? This is nuts. I, I'd say Blake definitely loves animals. Yeah, um, I got quite a quite a ton of animals. Yeah, man. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know you're busy, buddy. Yeah, I know I what it's like. Too. Oh, she's a big love. Look at this love oh, yeah. bug. She get play rough. When it gets cold out, she'll oh. run around this place like a freaking giant dog. Look, she's gonna rub up and love on me. Hey, how you doing, Mama? Oh my God, I got a. I want a cow. <laughs> Sophia, should I get us a cow? What do you think, Leo? All right. Well, listen, man, thank you so much for taking the yeah, time, Blake. No problem, anytime. Uh, I'm really glad I made it all the way over here. I mean, it's so funny. I visit Sam all the time. These two don't live too far away. And it's really cool to see what he's been able to do at such a young age, and he's still going. Imagine when oh, yeah. he's uh, an old man like me, <laughs> what this place is going to look like. So Definitely. congratulations, dude. Thank you, thank you. Give him a follow if you don't already, and I'll see you guys later. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, we'll talk to you later. I'm going to love up on see my you guys camera. Later. later, guys.